Hello and welcome to Coal UTV. My name is Harry Totten and we're live here from the Job Serve Community Stadium with a crucial three points on offer today for the youths who take on Oldham, who sit just three points below the boys from Colchester in the table and they have a game in hand too. So it really is vital as both teams are scrapping to stay out of that drop zone. The U's have a run of home games, which didn't start too well on Tuesday uh, in a loss against Hartlepool. But we have today, we have Tuesday night here against Leighton Orient and we have next Saturday here at home to Port Vale as well. So time to turn it around. Today is the time to do that. We're taking on Oldham who are unbeaten in five. They've just had John Sheridan take over for the fifth or sixth time. So many times that I've lost count, to be honest. But they're unbeaten in five. They've got the form. They're going to be coming here with a lot of confidence. It's up to us to turn it round today. But as ever, the boys have been working hard since Tuesday's loss at Florence Park to put things right this week. And we're going to hear from Wayne Brown very shortly. But first, we're going to see some highlights as the U's took on Boundary Park uh, took on Oldham at Boundary Park, should I say, earlier in the week, followed by some thoughts from our front man, John Akinde. John, back out on the pitch on Tuesday night for you, obviously not the result that the, the team wanted, but how was it for you to get 60 minutes under your belt after the past couple of weeks? Uh, it was good, it was good obviously, um, being hit with Covid and then struggling a little bit. It's good just to get some minutes into the legs and hopefully just kick on from there. Did it take you longer than you thought it would to, to recover? It definitely did, considering I'm uh, triple vaccinated. So I thought it would be the five day job and then back, but for whatever reason it took longer and then afterwards as well, it still felt pretty rough, so but hopefully it will never end of it now. So you were back out there on, on Tuesday, like I said, si 60 minutes for you, what was the, the mood like amongst the, the team after that? Because having gone one nil up, yeah. very difficult then and disappointing to, to concede to and lose. Um, yeah, I feel like we were just disappointed after the game to have lost the game, to concede the goals we did in the manners that we did. Um, but there were positives from the game, we were creating chances, good chances, so I think we're just trying to take the positives and just prepare for the next game. And it is a, a big game, Oldham, but down at, at the bottom of, of League Two as well. Do you have conversations like that amongst the team about? where you are and, and the, your position in the league and how big a game that is considering the other placings? Uh, I think we're just, I think it doesn't really need to be said to be honest. I think we're all aware of the situation, we're all aware of the game on Saturday. But at the end of the day, it's another game that we just need to win, um, regardless if it's 
watched our the last game previously, the game the other night, Hartlepool, we want to win every game that we play, regardless of the situation and the, where we are in the league. So, but we know we're not silly, we know exactly where we are and we, we do our best to get out of it. And for you, your very experienced player, how does the situation that, that Colchester United are in at the moment compare to anywhere else you, you've been? Is it something you've experienced before? Have you got that behind you to, to bring to the team and try and lift everything? Uh, unfortunately, I have got that behind me. Um, so I understand that's a difficult period for everyone associated with the club, players, fans, staff, the lot. Um, but it's just important that we sit together. Um, obviously, positivity from the fans, we need them. Especially, we've got a few home games coming up, so we need them behind us, supporting us being that extra man for us um, and the boys just do the best they can on the pitch, that's all we can do and try and get the results. And the home form hasn't been the, the best it has it has been in the past this season, mm. how much do you need those fans? As you say, the, the next few games coming up, there's, the majority are home games, so how much will their support help to, to try and get Colchester United out of this situation? Uh, it's massive, it creates an atmosphere for us position players will feel it as well. It's, uh, it just gives us that extra boost, especially when the fans are behind you. Um, if they're not, it makes it that much more difficult. You know? um, so I guess that's what we want, just to support um, and we can do the same on the pitch and give our all. John Akinde there, who had a big 60 minutes on Tuesday night versus Hartlepool from our number 24 uh, Tuesday evening. He's had three days of training since, now, John Akinde, as you mentioned there at the start, he had COVID. It affected him much more than he thought. He thought it would be a quick five-day job, as he said. Got him a lot more. So 60 minutes, understandable Tuesday. Let's hope for the full 90 today. He's been a crucial part since he signed up. Really makes a difference up front. Hopefully, he can put the ball in the back of the net for the use this afternoon as we take on Oldham. What do you think of John Akinde so far? And our other January signings, I've, I've thought that Awura Edwards has looked particularly sharp in the last few weeks. And if he keeps banging a few more goals, he could be the one to fire us towards safety. Also, let us know your thoughts on Wayne Brown, Joe Dunn, Dave Huzzy, their time in charge. Let us know. It's media at colchesterunited.net. Even if you just want to shout out, it's your birthday, it's your first time to the stadium, or you're cheering on the U's from abroad. Let's see some pictures of you skiing or on the beach somewhere in Dubai. Send us in. It's media at colchesterunited.net. Now, Wayne Brown intends to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Oldham today in a bid to take all the points on offer. And we'll have his starting 11 for you very shortly indeed. But first, we'll hear from the man himself, Wayne Brown, who spoke to Glenn Speller from BBC Essex earlier on this week. Um, Wayne, a disappointing result on Tuesday and then a big game coming up on Saturday against Oldham, what's the response been like from the players in training this week? Yeah, good. I mean, this is the first opportunity, obviously, we've had to have contact with them after Tuesday night. Um, really disappointed um, in the way that we, we sort of lost the game, conceding two goals in, what, a space of four minutes. Uh, after, yet again, getting ourselves into get in a good position in the football match, you know, that's now four out of eight games that we've found ourselves leading games. Um, and on a couple of occasions out of those, we've, we've not taken a point. So, yeah, it's disappointing, it's frustration, um, because if you looked at the game as a whole, they didn't really open us up. Um, I thought we looked quite solid, uh, and it's, it's our mistakes, really, that's, that's let them, you know, the opportunity to score two goals, which, again, is, is disappointing. Um, but, again, loads of positives come out, come out of the game. Um, I thought John was good in, in coming back into this environment. Uh, it gives us another dimension and looks a threat uh, and the amount of opportunities that we're creating is really pleasing. So, you know, we need to take that forwards now into the next game and for the rest of the season. You did make changes on Tuesday following on from, from the defeat on Saturday. Do you now look at it for this coming game and look to make changes again or do you give those players from Tuesday another chance to try and get the result? Well, we'll assess where people are but ultimately we've got a real big squad now. We've got uh, pretty much a fully fit squad, apart from Clamps. So, I mean, if you look at it, it's competition for places, and I'm all about quality and opportunity. Um, and if you go on into games and you do all you can and perform to the, the highest standards that you can, then you keep your shirt. If you let those standards drop below par, um, which there was a few of them, to be fair, against Northampton, you know, there's somebody that wants your shirt. Um, and again, the quality of the uh, 
throughout the squad is, is really important. Competition for places um, is really important, and the lads know that if they don't perform, there's someone looking to take their shirt. So that's where we are at the minute. Um, we need to keep those standards high, and that's the, the way to do it. You do have a, a big squad, and you have a number of experienced players within that squad who probably wouldn't have expected to ha- have come into a Colchester United team that are in the situation that are, they are now, and they won't want to, to be in a, a situation where there's a risk of, of, of Colchester United being in a in a relegation battle. Do you look to them in the, the next coming the coming games and the, the kind of six pointers as, as you might call them to to stand up and and lead this side to, to where you want them to be? Well regardless of your age, no one wants to be in the situation we're in, but we are, that's the fact. And regardless of your age, you know, you're in there to do a job, so you need to stand up and be counted. It's not just the old pros that you need to look at in situations like that. Yes, they're a benefit because they've had experiences of this before and the experiences that they've had before can only be, be a benefit to us but it's about everyone stepping up and, and everyone taking responsibility um, and doing all they can when they step over that white line to, to try and be the best player on the pitch that's got to be the mentality as an individual if we've got 9, 10, 11 players that have got that mentality and that, that attitude then we'll be okay um, obviously confidence plays a part in, in where we are at the moment but it's about everyone, old and young, um, sticking together and, and getting the best out of each other. Towards the beginning of the season, it was more a problem for Colchester United in terms of attacking and scoring goals. That hasn't been so much a, a problem in recent games. It's more been conceding disappointing goals. As a, a former defender yourself, how are you How are you looking at that? Is that frustrating for you to, to see the, the manner in which some of the goals you've, you've conceded in recent games? Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're at the end of the t- table for a reason because we've been conceding goals all season and we've not been scoring enough and that hasn't changed. I think we're creating more now. I think we're, we're, we're playing a, a more positive game to try and create opportunities to score, which we've done in abundance over the last few games. Um, and it's just now having that little bit of quality, that little bit of composure, a little bit of ruthlessness in their final third. And as, as I've said in, in interviews previous, the game's won and lost in each box. And it's about your concentration levels and being ruthless in your own box to defend whilst being organised, which again I thought we were in large spells um, on Tuesday. And then being ruthless, composed um, in, in the opposition's box to get your goals. Um, and again, you looked at the opportunities that we had on Tuesday to do just that and we're, we're falling short. So you add the two together, it, it becomes tight games, which they've all been apart from the Northampton game. Um, so there's loads of positives. We're getting into to, to good areas. We'll keep flooding the positives into the lads, keep encouraging them to get into those areas um, and being ruthless in front of goal. So it is gearing up to be an extremely important match for both teams today, but especially for the youths, really keen to turn that form around. It's going to be tough, old and full of confidence, as we've mentioned, and both teams are desperate for the points. And Wayne Brown says it's not a must win. Now, I'm sure we've all got our own opinions on that, but we've got full faith in the man in charge. And here is the team that he selected to put things right today. So lovely new graphic here. Look at this. In goal, we believe it's going to be a 4-3-3 today. Um, In goal, 29, Shamal George returns to the team. Sam Hornby has played well, but uh, maybe time for Shamal to come back in. Luke Chambers and Tommy Smith keep their places at centre-back with Cameron Cox on the right. And Tom Dallison returns to the team in place of Miles Kenlock, who has played well, but these back-to-back games, I'm sure, are tough. So Tom Dallison drops in at left-back. We've got Cole Skews, the ever-present, who has played well of late, especially away at Northampton last week. He really tried his best to get the ball down on the ground and make those key interceptions that we needed. Uh, In front of him, the goal scorer from the week, Noah Chilvers. He's been on good form since he's been back from injury. And Alan Judge next to him. And the three up top, there might be a surprise in here for the U's fans. Uh, Awura Edwards keeps his place on the wing. No surprise there. He's been fantastic. John Akinde, as we've mentioned, starts up front for the use today. Keen to have a 90 minutes. Uh, no Freddie Sears in the starting 11 today. Luke Cannon starts on the left of that front three. Um, and on the bench, as we see, Freddie Sears is on there. Don't worry, he is still here. We have Sam Hornby. And number six is uh, Brendan Weiradu, who is on the bench there. Uh, not a Weir Edwards, who we've mentioned, that is starting today. Freddie Sears there. Miles Kenlock. 
Junior Chamadu, Emir Hughes and the exciting Tyreek Wright. We have got to come off the bench as well. So that's your news lineup today. Both John and Wayne have reiterated the importance of the fan support. So let's not let them down today as ever. We turn up, we're loud, we're proud. While you're here, if you're watching online, book tickets for Tuesday's game versus Orient. Book tickets for Saturday's game versus Port Vale. Watch on iFollow today if you're outside the UK and let's get behind the boys. Let's go up the use. We're as strong as the old oak tree. It's time to show it. Up the use. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.